Hello guys, and welcome back where we last left off. Uh, I... I've given up on life, it seems. Hey, come on up. Just enjoying the view. I... I wasn't actually planning to meet you. I was planning to go ask the sheriff something, but... I suppose I can come up to you. Is there a ladder, or do I have to go for the building? There's a ladder. If I can... Yep. Okay, off we go. Please don't throw me off the roof. Had enough of death? Can't, can't take any more of it. Glad you made it. Hope this wasn't too far out of your way. I like to come up here sometimes to think. Really gives you a sense of the big picture, you know? Go ahead. Have a look. Take it in. My family's got deep roots in this town. My grandpa started with nothing but the deed to a few dozen acres of empty wilderness. He spun it into a lumber empire that put all four of his kids through college. My father took that education and gave back to this town. Miguel Santos was the first Latino mayor Marshall ever had. Did you know that? Community, you see. That's what matters, now more than ever. All of us together, doing our own thing, but helping our neighbors when they need it. Marshall's seen some pretty bad times, and some good. But my family's always done our part to help her through the bad and make the good even better. The way I see it, this whole thing is just another bad time. And I just know my daddy and granddaddy are looking down at me right now saying, Raimundo, you've got to do the right thing. So that's what I'm doing. Just helping out any way I can. You need supplies, I can arrange a trade. You need a car, I can hook you up. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. You've probably got a lot on your mind. You don't need old Ray talking your ear off. Tell you what, though. Give me a little while to put something together. A sort of a welcome to the neighborhood present. I'll give you a call when it's ready. See you then? Whatever you say. Perfect. You stay safe out there. Okay. Uh, don't know if there's Ladies, anything else I really need to do. Need to, uh, I guess, look at all these. Oh, I never actually found these houses, apparently. Any fit? Okay, there's that. A weird one. Juggernaut. Someone down there. Screamer. And that is a blow. How do I know it's behind there? Or that one? Okay, I guess I'm going to the sheriff, which is right next door. And down again. Don't disturb the screamer. Get in the car and get the hell out of here. Go! Go! Get off my car! There we go. Don't know where he got up from that side, but fine. Let's go. Inside, talk to the sheriff. Good to see you. I'm looking for Carl. Anybody seen him? The sheriff? Yeah. He went out by oh, the hey. Argo. Said he was going to hunt down this feral bastard that's been stalking our patrols. I don't know how long it'll be, but I can tell you where to look. Thank you. Okay, find Carl, I guess. Well, that's taking up Marx's position pretty, pretty well. All you have to do is wander around and solve everyone's problems. Also, by the end of this, I will need to find some ammo. Because, uh, again, my... My safe house doesn't have any. Well, it has a little bit, and then it's gonna run out, so I should probably find some. If there's a gun store or something around, that'd be great. Or if a person's willing to trade, be even better. Kate, dive through the window! Hello? Hello? Oh, what's in here? Any ammo by any chance? That will be great. Uh, well. 
That's not what I meant when I wanted ammo, but... I suppose I can take this. What right about in here? Okay. Looks like no zombies were close by. Uh... No, nothing I need. I have enough space for this. There's one like a bag of ammo. Something I can throw in the back of my car. Time to move on. Uh, medical supplies. We have uh, we have too much medical supplies. It says. So I don't really need to worry about it. There's a zombie following me now. We'll go through the dog. Fe okay, I guess. Can oh, no, I can. Into the construction site. Gotta be some ammo around here, right? Hello? Carl, hey. Wanted to talk to you for a sec. Shh. This son of a bitch has killed four of my people in the last three days. I got no plans on being number five, so keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. The feral zombie. Well, apparently it's way over there, so... Why don't you help me search for ammo? Or... a uh, Talking doll, even one. Nope, okay, I guess, uh, I guess it's just find this zombie. Oh, it's apparently, it's apparently in, this ho in this house right here. Is it the one that killed Marcus? Is that what you're talking about? Is that one of the people? Did you hear about it? God. Definitely need to take this one down then. Well, that's that then. Now, what do you want to ask me? I was wondering what you could tell me about that girl at the Grange. Becca? Becca? You mean Alex? Oh, hell. I hope I didn't cause her any problems with that. Didn't even think. So you do know her? Yeah. Yeah, I know her. Busted her for solicitation and possession often enough. She was a prostitute. Mm-hmm. A good kid, though. I tried to get her cleaned up and off the streets, but it never took. Anyway. She wants to call herself Becca now, and that's her business. Well, thanks for the info. Guess I've got a decision to make. Look, I don't know what you're asking for, but if you want my advice, some things ought to stay in the past. Anybody deserves a clean slate, it's that girl. I'm just glad. Marcus was avenged! I'm gonna assume that was the feral zombie that tore Marcus to pieces. I believe that noise didn't bring any zombies. And construction materials, I guess I can throw that in All the right, back. Roger that. We'll be waiting. If I can find my car. Oh, it's just over there. I got nothing left. Okay, and in the car, off we go to I assume I'm probably not gonna deliver the terrible news. Just be like, yeah, nothing. Uh just just random names, you know, but nickname, because Alex is short for Becca. And yeah, yeah, we can go with that story. I don't think I'm actually gonna be moving house, by the way. I don't, I don't think that's ever gonna pan out. So the church is probably where I'm gonna stay. Was that a challenge, or are you trying to tell me something? Because we do need ammo. Hey, so, wow, I actually got past all of them. Hey! I'm here. Nice action roll, though. How's things? You find anything out? Uh, no. What are you doing? Uh, what did I just do? So the sheriff called you Alex. Shit, I was really hoping you didn't notice that. Yeah, about that. Yeah, I'm sure you have your reasons for changing your name. As far as I'm concerned, they're yours. So yeah, I'm not gonna pry. But if you do ever want to talk about it, I. Thank you. Got that little present ready for you. Come on out and meet me when you've got the time. 
a sweet ride. Oh, I'm getting to get a new car, apparently! Also, hey, would you like to join us at the church? We could really use some more people. Uh, I can understand if you say no, but... Uh, we are slowly dying out there. Is there anything around here, by the way? I never actually searched this place. Better look around some more. What is in here? Moltov and... That. Doesn't matter. I'll grab my car and I'll head off to find the sweet ride, I suppose. How far is it? Oh, it's just over there. Be careful. There are a lot of infestations out there. No, I'll be fine. There's a bloater. Uh, they can deal with that. That's their problem. I don't need to worry about them. I just need to worry about me. And my... Oh, Jesus Christ. I nearly got a wedge. Well, hopefully this new car will be a lot better than this car, because mine's currently smoking. I don't know much about cars, but I'm fairly sure that's a bad sign. Am I drifting off to the right? Is that something I did? Or is that my imagination? Could be just my imagination. And quick turn in. <laughs> quick turn in. Okay, what's what's around here? Oh, bonding, common ground. Everyone's everyone's getting together. Well, what do you think? It's a car. It's for me. Sure. Why not? I've amassed a fair little collection since this business went down. I can spare one for a new friend. It's all about people pulling together, after all. And, uh, speaking of pulling together, I wonder if you wouldn't be able to do me a favor. The folks out at the old Ballard homestead have been having trouble with one of their trucks. I happen to have some parts to spare, so I was figuring on running them out there. Don't suppose you'd be interested in taking this little beauty for a test drive? I'm on it. I knew I could rely on it. By all means, you drive. It's not too far. Oh god, he's trusting me to drive! Ah, oh, this is gonna be terrible! There's fuel in there. Oh, hold on, buddy. Let's not be too hasty here. Let's, uh... Let's see what's around here first. I also will need to get my ammo. Where is this fuel? Is it in here? Will this hold all the fuel? It holds some of the food, which we actually need, so I'll take that. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll see you soon. Anything in he here? Where is Ray? It's okay. Oh god. Oh god, get out of here. Yeah, we're we're heading out now. Uh, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car! Oh. Okay, I guess I just drove straight into that. Zombie horde alerted. Uh, like most fins, I'll be back. I'll be back for that. Uh, whatever I put in there. I don't even remember what I put in there. I know it was something, though. like a dream, doesn't she? I had one just like her as a younger man. Whatever you say. Oh, this takes me back. The open road, wind in your hair, a pretty girl sitting next to me. All that's missing is classic rock on the radio. Say, you want to try something really cathartic? Head up this way. I want to show you something. Yeah, you see, I'm already ruining the car uh, that you've so nicely given to me. Uh, because the zombie's in the way. I'm trying not to smash it up. What? What? Oh, I guess the the little engine's on the side, or the little exhaust's on the side. Just hit the fence post. There we go. 
See those zombies? Let's run the bastards over. Wait, really? What? Come on, it'll be fun. Take out some of your aggression. Blow off steam. Trust me, this baby can take it. Ever done a donut on a zombie's head? It's pretty cool. If you say so. Okay, okay, that was fun. But I suppose we better take care of this delivery now. Let's go. The car is dying. Did you not see the puff of smoke? Look at this. You made me ruin it. I wasn't even planning to do that. That was all you. Oh, hey. Hey, Ray. Good to see you. Howdy, folks. Heard you were having some engine troubles. Figured I'd drop by with some spare parts and see if we can't get the old girl back on her feet. Thank you. Don't even worry about it. I'm happy to help. Say, you got any spare lumber in your barn there? I know some folks who are running a little short. Oh, yeah, sure. Help yourself. Don't mind if I do. Thanks. As for you, you take care out there. And enjoy the ride. I'm sure I'll see you around. Well, it's a little bit busted up, but I suppose I can make do. Anyway, that is the end of this part, so... Thanks for watching. And I guess I'll try and drive this... Am I even gonna get this back to the base? It's not in the best shape. The zombie horde there. I think I can, yeah, I can just survive it. I really need to get this repaired. <laughs> Thankfully, I got a workshop back at the, the church, but... Oh, wait, there's another one. Huh, okay, maybe. I thought it was like a super rare car, but I guess there's another one right there. Anyway, I'll drive back. If anything pops up, we'll see. Is that, uh... That's just... Yeah, let's just look out. Suppose I'll do that another time when I'm not smashing into Vins. No idea what's wrong with me, I just... I'm just not doing so well. And I guess I'll see about the ammo situation next time. But yeah, uh, good good part, good session. Killed Alan and, uh... Got a nice car, I suppose. Yeah, I one for there you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. My hero. Well, anyway, that's the end of this part, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.